Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to version 1.15 of OctoApp. Before we start with the new version, let's quickly check what changed in 1.14 since the last video. There are two things I want to highlight. Firstly, there's no support for the enclosure plugin, which allows you to control your lights or your printer power, and also allows you to add additional temperature sensors to OctoPrint. And secondly, there was the release of OctoPrint version 1.8, which enabled a lot of network optimizations I already included in OctoApp 1.4, 14, and also something I only found out after the release, uh, it started forwarding additional temperature sensors to OctoApp. So if you now see more temperature sensors than before, that's the reason. I added the small settings icon in the top so you can hide what you don't want to see. Enough of the old stuff. What's new in 1.15? Well, in the main app, not too much changed, but the big new feature in 1.15 is a Wear OS version of OctoApp. Let's quickly check what's new in the main app before we deep dive into the Wear OS version. In the main app, you now have a file search, so you can easily find files on your Octoprint. Also, there's now a new function to export time lapses directly to your Android gallery. The coolest new feature in the main app is actually a data saver webcam. If you have the Octop Companion plugin installed on your Octoprint, Octop will now offer you a data saver version of the webcam. It's activated whenever you switch to mobile data. Instead of the video feed, Octop will only load single frames in a set interval. This has a couple of benefits. Obviously, it's using way less mobile data compared to the video stream, but also the video stream tends to lag more and more behind if the connection isn't great. This means something you see on the video feed could have happened 10, 15, or even 30 seconds before you see it. The snapshots are always up to date when they update, so you don't have any delays. But enough of the main app. Let's deep dive into the Wear OS version. Before we start, a couple of disclaimers. Firstly, I didn't have the chance to test the Wear OS app in a public beta yet. So what you see here is a beta version. Please treat it as such. There can be bugs, there can be issues. Please be kind, report them to me, and I can work on them. Secondly, the Wear OS version is exclusive for supporters of OctoApp for the time being. The reason is that I want to limit the amount of people on the beta version until all the issues are ironed out. And lastly, please be aware that using OctoApp on your watch will impact battery life and that older models of Wear OS devices, for example, with the Wear 2100 processor, will be a little bit slow. I did my best to optimize all of that, and there will be more work done in the future, but just be aware, there will be an impact. So what can it do? I'm happy to announce that the Wear OS version basically can do everything you would do with OctoApp. That makes sense on a watch, of course. So you can turn on and off your printer using the power devices. You can connect your printer to OctoApp. You can start, stop, or pause prints. You can set temperatures, also using temperature presets. You can observe your webcam, which is using the same data saver webcam as now introduced with the main app. And you can use the ambient mode. So when your watch is in the always on display mode, you will still see what's going on on your OctoPrint. The always on display supports up to four Octoprint instances and can show the current state. This state refreshes every five to 10 minutes in the background and it refreshes automatically when an event happens. For example, you start a new print or a print ends. The Wear OS app automatically syncs all settings with your main Octo app. So for example, if you add a new Octoprint there, it will automatically show up on your watch. I will also make a dedicated video for the Wear OS version where I show you around the app and show you some tips and tricks. And that's what's new in version 1.15. Of course, there were also a lot of bug fixes and improvements under the hood. And especially this time with the Wear OS version, OctoApp got a lot of performance improvements. Let's also take a quick look into the future. What will happen for the rest of the year? Of course, I will start working on version 1.16 right away. I plan to support the Bad Level Visualizer and the Cancel Object plugin, the two top requested plugins. That's it for today. Please make sure to subscribe for upcoming tutorials and more videos, for example, on the new Wear OS app. Enjoy the app and happy printing.